Let us solve one problem on Turing machine where we are going to add two numbers. Let us come to the problem. So here the problem is that we, shall, we are supposed to add two numbers. The number one is consisting of zeros and here I shall count the number of zeros and that is the number. So here the count is 4 so the number is 4. Here the count is 3 so the number is 3 and we shall concatenate them to get the sum as 7. So I shall be having 7 zeros in this way. So that is my initial id and that is my final id. So I have written this one that after multiple transitions from this id to this id will be obtained and you are supposed to design the Turing machine. So this problem has to be solved. This problem can come in two different heads. One is addition of two numbers another one is concatenation of two strings. Here w1 and w2 are two strings are there and they belongs to 0 whole plus. So now in this way we are going to solve this problem. Now at first let us do the planning then you shall go for the solution. You see the first w1 they are not suffering any kind of movement or changes. So we shall only just traverse through this w1 whole string and then the, then the blank at the fifth place will be replaced by 0. Then we shall pass through this w2. We do not know that how many zeros are there, what is the length of w2. We are not having any idea, we are totally blind in that aspect. So what we shall do, we shall move up to this, up to this 9, obviously that is another, another blank space if you want to do this one. So we shall move up to 9, if I get blank space there, then I shall come back, I shall make 8 as blank and then I shall move through these zeros then I shall move to this blank space then I shall come here and I shall have my final state qf. So that means I shall go through them then I shall make this blank 0 then I shall pass through them then I shall get 9 here then I shall return I shall make this 0 at the 8th place replaced by blank then I pass through all these zeros. I shall reach to this particular blank space and then I shall come back to this say number 1 at this particular position and then I shall find myself with the state qf. So this is the uh, what should I say this is the way we shall do the concatenation ok. So this is our planning. So let me solve this one in front of you. So what are the what are the symbols we are expecting here. So we are expecting symbols like say 0 and say blank. We are not going to expect any other symbol here I think ok. So my initial state is my q0. So that is my initial state as it has been mentioned. Then how to proceed 0 is there ok. Then at first I shall pass through this 0. So if I get 0 then I shall write 0 I, I need not to change them. I shall write 0 then I shall go to the right hand side and I shall maintain the state q0. I should not change the state because I do not know that how many zeros are there in w1. So it is better to keep myself with the state q0. Okay, so now I, I shall be with q0 and in this way I shall pass through all the zeros in w1. Then I shall get this blank at the fifth place. So this blank will be replaced by 0 and I shall go to the right then I shall make this q1. Why q1? Because I should change the state. Why? Because here when, when I shall get this particular blank. I should not make it 0 and proceed to the right hand side. So that is why I am going to this particular state q1 where the blank, blank treatment will be having some different logic. Okay, now, so I have made this particular blank as 0 and now my state is q1 and I am moving towards the right. So now here, so for q1 for zeros I shall move towards the right hand side as I told you that I shall pass through these zeros and I shall keep the state same until I get the blank space. So if I get the blank space, the blank will be replaced by blank because I am not going to change the blank space at the ninth place. So it will remain as blank. So blank will be there. Then I shall come back. So I shall move left and I shall go for Q2. So I was getting zeros. So that is why I am moving. After getting blank, when I shall retrace back, then obviously I shall get zero again. So at Q2, we can get zero only. So this 0 that is at the 8th place, this 0 will be replaced by blank. Then I shall move towards the left so that I can move to this here. So I shall, I shall have to place my 
this red red head at this position one so i shall move this one so i shall go for q3 so q3 q3 will just march over this zeros until it gets a blank so if it gets zero so it will move to the left hand side keeping that zero there keeping the state same but if i get blank here then it shall it, it will write blank there then it should move to the right after getting this blank it will move to the right and then it will get qf and qf is my final state and i'm making my machine halt because for qf i'm not defining any transitions for this input 0 and blank so this is the machine which can correspond to this particular uh, string addition or say string concatenation or say two numbers addition problem and that is the solution you can also obviously you can express this one in our transition diagram instead of having this transition table i think you are getting this logic when such problem will come at first you should have to make your mind ready you should be very much logical that what are the intermediate steps will be there and then do the planning correctly do the testing properly will that plan work if it is so then go on designing this turing machine so that is the said turing machine we have designed here thanks for watching this video